Hello family, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your baby girl Gloria. On this channel, we talk about everything UK. I share my experience with you just to give you an idea of what to expect, what I've been through, and just to direct you and help you move to the UK easier. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please remember to touch, just press the subscribe button for free. It is just a way of supporting me and helping us to grow. Thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to adjust to all the changes you're going to experience when you come into the UK. Because traveling to a country you've never been before, even if you've been to the UK before, you're moving. It is a very big decision and it is a very big part of your life. And it will make your life easy if you're able to know how to cope with the changes you're going to experience. Number one is you want to keep in touch with your family it is very very important to keep in touch with your family especially those who are not in this country whatever your support system is if it is your wife your husband your children your parents your in-law just whoever your friends you want to keep in touch with them that is number one getting yourself a sim card what i always advise is when you get to the airport because that was what i did when i came when i got into the airport i got my sim card from the airport and i bought it with the plan and everything for 30 pound the same sim i would have gotten on the high street for five pound so it is better if you don't buy sim card in the airport buy sim card on the high street along the way ask questions you can get easy access to sim all you need is just to get the sim put it in your phone if you have your phone back home even if you're going to buy 49 in the country while you come to the country you want to keep in touch with your family there's free access to internet in most public places like even the bus you can get free internet that's free wi-fi most supermarkets as the most big offices so many places have access to free wi-fi and when you get home to wherever you're going to be staying either the hotel ask for the wi-fi password if there is or ask wherever you're going to be living ask the landlord if you're going to be the one who is going to buy your own data or your own internet it is easy to get online so you want to keep in touch whatsapp is very cheap because phoning may be more expensive so you want to keep in touch with your family if you have that family support that you can talk to you can wake up in the morning and you call someone someone will check on you it can help your mental health it can help you to feel more relaxed feel more love video call whatsapp call just try to keep in touch with your family because making friends in the uk is very very difficult i've been in this country for a few years and i can tell you apart from my colleagues people that we work together i actually have not been able to make any friend although i'm not one of those people who easily make friends or who easily get friends so it is really difficult it can be very lonely and you know if you're joining your loneliness with changing environment in a new place where you look different you speak different it may be very very difficult if you don't try to carry along your support system that you have back home for the fact that you have traveled does not mean it is the end of your communication with them especially those who already knew that you're traveling your immediate family especially you should try to keep in touch with them always phone them one thing i want you to remember is that you are not alone you may think you're the only one where you are but believe me you're not the only one in this journey nine percent of the entire uk population are made up of immigrants that means there's someone from wherever you're from and there will be someone somewhere who understand what you're going through it's there are communities of people who will be there to support you go to facebook join community there are child support community if you have children school groups work groups just little little community that you can join you're not alone ask for help try not to isolate yourself don't enslave your own mind with the way you think ask people for what you want ask direction there must also be someone who is not from here and they, you can speak to them even those that are from here if you're open to speak to them they will also speak to you in most cases so remember you are not alone and you need to remember the reason why you've taken this decision you need to remember the reason why you've done this so that can be a source of motivation to you in case sometimes when you want to give up when you're thinking it's too hard everything is not going as planned what is the reason why you started this journey in the beginning so that should be your motivation to keep you going that should be your motivation to keep you focused for you to know that you're not here to play you're not here to come and enjoy all the luxury for now the time you're settling in is the time when you have to settle in and your motivation should be at the back of your mind to make you know that you cannot quit you cannot fail the only option you have is to succeed and you will at the end of the day. Get yourself involved, get yourself engaged. An idle hand, they say, is devil's workshop. Get involved in arts classes, dance schools, 
galleries, visit places, if you want to do staycations, go for staycations, travel around, go on holiday, go for coffee, go for a tea. And for the, for the benefit of living in the UK, UK is actually kind of centralized. So you have access to a lot of European countries. You can go to visit if you have the money and you have the resources. Take the advantage. Due to the nationally reliable transport system, you can actually go on train to almost everywhere in the uk you can go to london you can go to england scotland Wales, northern ireland you can go everywhere by train and even by bus there are so many cheaper options for you ask questions get cheap tickets travel around and even access to european countries also they are not that expensive to go like and they are not so difficult especially once you're already in the country so take advantage of this opportunity explore the world learn to relax learn to breathe i know we have this mentality this working culture of hard work is what we pay back home we don't take our annual leaves we don't go on holiday we don't relax we always work work mood work mood somebody wake up by 5 30 in the morning get back home by 10 so we have this mentality of you have to work hard before you succeed when you come abroad i'm not saying you should be lazy but i'm just saying you should learn to relax a little bit because if you're looking at how much money you're going to earn per hour you want to take all the extra shift you want to take all the work before you know it you'll be worn out you'll be stressed you see that you've not really enjoyed your life you see that you've not really enjoyed yourself even if it's just for the sake of it lie down when you're off relax take a breath drink nice juice just relax yourself and learn to chill learn to remember that you cannot solve the problem of the entire world and just take a minute to relax because if you're working you're stressed you're new in the country there's so many things going on before you know it you break down and then you think oh my god your life has come to an end but it's because of the stress you have put on yourself learn to sleep enough i know i'm also guilty of this sometimes i don't go to bed early but when i'm off i try to sleep i have lazy days this word we continue with or without you. So remember that you have to put yourself first, love yourself, relax, take care of yourself. There's this new thing I started, like I just started doing it and I'm really loving it. I can just think, think one day I'm like, Gloria, today you want to eat burger and that burger, I will buy it. I will eat it. Enjoy myself. Because voila, no, they finish. Before you know it, you will work and work and work and work. And they ask you money at home, you send money, you do this, but you will not spend that same money for yourself. You need to remember that you're your own priority and you're not being pushed. Don't allow anybody to push you. I know because you've traveled out, you don't want to disappoint your family back home. You don't want to disappoint those that are looking up to you, but put your head first. Remember to also ask for help because you've traveled out of the country does not mean you're automatically a millionaire or does not mean you've automatically made it in life. Try to ask for help, especially if you have the help available at home. Don't put yourself on a level where people will not think you're now the richest person in the world and then you don't need any help again. If you need advice, ask for advice. If you need financial help back home, ask your parents, ask people that can help you to help you. Because you're traveling abroad does not mean you've already made it. You, there are still times when you don't have money. Especially the first time you're just coming to the country. When I first came to this country, I was broke. I was broke as broke. I needed all the help I could get. And if I, I had my sister, I had my mom, I had my husband, I have people who are, who are back home or who are somewhere that can help me. If you have those support system, ask for help before you find your food. Even if you're going to pay them back, ask for that help. Don't come and be for me on top of nothing. Remember, at the end of the day, this life is too small. I wish you good luck in all your endeavor. I hope this video has helped you a little bit to cope with the stress of starting afresh in a new country and like i always say it will come to a point when you think about those experiences you've had and you'll be like wow it is worth it because at the end of the day at the end of it all it is still worth it no matter the stress you're going through just now try to stay alive try to stay healthy love yourself and i hope one day you will live to testify i hope one day you will live to remember those incidents and you just smile i wish you good luck in all your endeavor i will see you in my next video until then please stay safe bye